Okay, I am off of US 40 near Battelle Darby Creek. This is actually owned by Metro Parks. Um, it's an unmarked trail. It's if you come out of Metro Parks and heading in towards West Jefferson, it's just before you cross over the uh, Darby Creek. There's this little area down here. Word of warning though, if you come down to hike this trail, do not park here. This part here is not owned by Metro Parks, it is owned by ODOT, and they may tow your vehicle. So do not park here. Best recommendation, park up in Metro Parks and walk down here. If you come out there by where the horse saw, um racing track used to be that loop if you walk around through there there's a way to actually come through the woods there to come right out on to us 40 and you can walk down it's about a quarter mile down heading west just before you cross over that's us 40. so we're going to go on in it's been about a year i've only been here one time before so i don't know this trail the best i know it goes to the tracks that i do know but last time i walked it it was in the early spring and there wasn't a lot of well actually there was no leaves on the trees or any green anything green yet so it's pretty easy to get through they're probably a little thick here in the beginning now i've talked to a few people in metro parks though it's not a big priority they have discussed of taking this trail and connecting it to prairie prairie oaks which would connect prairie oaks and battelle darby creek if they did that that would be awesome. Now, if you go on Google Maps and if you hit the bicycle icon, you know it, it highlights all the trails and stuff. You will see this trail highlighted in green, believe it or not. You'll see this trail, which is a good sign. But like I say, it only goes to about to the tracks. I think that's all the farther that Metro Parks owns at this moment. Being that it's an unmarked trail, it's not maintained really. So they don't come through and trim anything to get through here because it's not part of the Patel Darby Creek trail maps. ducking down through these branches here. I don't know if that dog's back here or what. I know to the right uh, there's some housing projects up there so I don't know if he's up in there or, or what. He does sound like he's to my right. These woods are not that big. You're not gonna get lost in here. To the left is gonna be the river. Straight ahead is gonna be the tracks. To the right is, I can't think of the name of the road. And back behind me is US 40. Dog sounds like it's getting closer. This is not a hunting area. Yeah, 
Yeah, now the dog sounds. He's still to the right, but behind me. Could be one of the neighborhood dogs just chasing something. There are some thorns back in here. So if you come back in here, watch for them. I'd say this looks like it's been used by some ATV. I don't know if that's Metro Parks that comes back here on ATVs or our locals. I could not tell you. Had a hitchhiker on my hand. Walked through a few cobwebs, so I guess I picked up one of the hosts. There's some little side trails, and those probably go up to some of the houses up in there.
Now, I spoke to one of the park rangers at Battelle Barbie Creek yesterday. Um, he was telling me that there are some trails also down by the river that are made by uh, some of the people down there fishing. I haven't been down there. Like I said, this is my second time being here. So I haven't really explored this a lot. Uh, the first time I came here, I looked at the trail on Google Maps. And then the way I went, and I know somewhere I turned off. I still follow the trail, but it wasn't the one that Google Maps shows. Because it, there are two different endpoints. So I'll try to make sure I keep my eye out, make sure I take the right turn. If not, it's no big deal. Both of them take, take me to the tracks. Because that's where it ends at. Is the railroad tracks. I mean, it may go past that. I don't know. I didn't really go any further. But I don't think it does because it really narrows out. And there's a lot of houses and other businesses over there. Like, you know, a water company or whatever. I would say before this tree fell, it probably the path went straight through there. By the looks of it, but as the tree is down, it looks like it's detouring. Another trail going up the hill, most likely to, to some houses. You know, I'm really, if this was trimmed back a little bit, some of the thorn bushes, I mean, some say, you know, wouldn't mind it, but it really wouldn't be a bad trail to run. Looks nice back in here. Quiet. A little hill up there. And then, of course, if I say to the left, it's down that way. The river. going up. That looks like it's got a lot of roots on it.
that tree is a good sized tree. Another trail going up. Okay, now, I think the last time I went this way, but according to the way the map looks on Google, it's a sharp 90 degree turn. So I am going to, I don't know what this is gonna do, but I'm gonna go this way, if we can get through. But again, that way, this way, there's basketball. We will come back and we'll do the other direction too. Because I want to take you down to the bottom of the train trestle. I don't think we're that far from the tracks. <clears throat> I wonder if that... Not the first why I was talking about, but the second one. I don't know if that's where that come up at. Came up at. Like I said, I wouldn't mind running back here. The trail I'd leave alone. I'd just clean up some of the brush along the side thorn bushes and so forth especially back in the beginning it's not really too bad here but back at the beginning I just cleaned some of them up okay Coming out to something here. homes
I think the tracks are right up here. No. Okay. I think the tracks, well, of course, I know the tracks are going to be to the left. But I'm just going to stop here. Because uh, I don't know who owns this property. I don't know if this is part of the Metro Parks property here or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it off here. I'm going to go back down. And I'm going to pick up that from the first Y, first split off. And I'm going to take us down underneath the uh, trestle. Okay, I'm back here. Instead of going back to that one spot. Uh, remember when we came to the second turn off and then we come up here and I said this might be where it comes out I'm actually gonna go down this one and see if that is where it comes comes out And see if it comes out to where we did the second turn off It's not too wet. It's a little muddy, but not too bad. One thing you gotta remember when you're out here on these hills, don't let gravity take you down a hill. When you start getting that momentum going, believe me, it's hard to stop it. That's an interesting tree right there. All dry. No, we're not going to go that way because that's going to just take us up to the houses. I'm going to say this is a pretty good guess that we are going to come back out where we are at. this water without sliding. Okay, this is where it is. There's that basketball again. See? And we went that way. So now, we are going to go this way. And this way is the way I went the first time. I mean, it does look more traveled. I think that's why I went this way. But this way will take us down underneath the trestle, train, tr train trestle. And then you can go under the trestle and you can climb back up the other side to the tracks. really nice back here though it's quiet other than the sound of the machinery and occasional dogs goes down to the river 
we're gonna stay right here. Try to do a little bit of work here. Now the trail goes that way. This this looks like a trail, but this is a stream bed. Which is going to take you to the river. Big big water puddle here. Frogs, actually frogs in the pool. Thought I heard some. There is the train trust. And yes, it is still used. There's the river. A fence. I don't know what the fence is for. Uh, but it shows that we are off of the Metro Park property, I'm not sure. From what I tried to research on the auditor's website and so forth, from what I could tell, this is all part of the Metro Park. Take you up to the tracks. Last time I went over on this side and went up. I know it looks like we're going past the trestle, and we have, but it does, if I remember correctly, circle back around and take us up to the tracks. It's a little high, not real high, but it's maybe a little bit. The only reason I'm following this is just to go to the tracks, and that's where I'll stop at. Like a little campfire. water rushing here you know I didn't go these trails here so I'm not sure where these go I'm just trying to find where I hear the water. There's a sign over here.
water company property. Okay, I am coming on this little piece of trail here that actually comes down by the river, and we're going to be heading back up towards US 40 or heading south. Never been on this one, don't know if it goes all the way down, but we will soon find out. There's the river right there on our right side. little frogs So if this does go all the way back to the bridge, to US 40, well, I don't know. But uh, if it does, this would be cool, like I said, to come out and, and run. You could actually do loops. Come out the one we came out on, circle around, and come back, this, this one. So you could actually do a loop instead of doing it out and back on the same one, same path. Great blue heron just took off over here out of the river. I didn't see it until it was already in the air.
hoping this actually does come out because I've hit to have to go all the way back and go around. I can't see why it doesn't though. Sometimes the sun's just right and your position just right. You can see the cobwebs stretching across the trail. But when you're in dark areas like this, shaded areas, you don't see them. I don't know how many of them I've walked into. Blue heron. I don't know if you see it, saw it or not. frogs. I guess it should probably be more quiet and I probably would see him you know, be able to walk up on him but I'm not today. I'm just out roughing it through the woods today. I did see that one, but <laughs> just last minute, so. Sometimes the sun will hit those webs just right to where they shine. Okay, we seem to be heading away from the river now. So I'm curious if this is going to take us back up to the main trail that we came in on. Or if it's just going around something. I'll head back down to the river.
frog. Okay, here's a trail going this way. Here's one going this way. We're gonna stay on this one for the moment at least. Okay, I do have my bug spray. I put some on before I came in, but I'm not seeing really what this is doing here. We're gonna go back and go the other way. I'm not seeing where it extends on. And I don't mind doing off-trail hiking, but wearing shorts isn't uh, the thing to do. It was right here. So we'll go up this way and see where this goes. So if you ever come out here and walk these, pay attention to how we walk in this video. So that when you come out here, you know which way is a good way to go. Can't say this way is a good way to go yet because I see tracks, maybe a motorcycle, dirt bike. That way is we were just at a second ago or is trying to go through that high grass. Something just hopped up into the grass. I'm moving in the grass there. And there. Oh, I see all kinds of stuff moving in the grass out there. Trying to get away from me. Frog or toad, probably. I seen it hopping, but I didn't quite catch it. See what it was. It looked like it was a toad, actually. It looked brown. Hey, we're climbing a little bit, going up a little incline, so. You know, when we first came on, remember, there was a trail that went off to the left, and I said that may go down to the river. I'm wondering if this is that trail. Yes, we'll 
find out eventually. Okay, now we gotta get through all this. Ooh, I see a lot of, a lot of water up here. is a better side to be on. I think I'm gonna go to the other side. I got hiking shoes on, which gives me some traction, but mud still rules. <laughs> traffic so we're getting close to US 40 Or a little bit looks like where we come in at, but I didn't notice us coming onto this trail back there. I didn't see one going off the other direction, which would have been our original one. Oh, there's a rabbit. Oh, he's gone. here somewhere. Could be wrong, but I don't think this is the one we came in on. I think we are still on a different trail. I don't think this is the one we entered on. I don't understand why people gotta throw their trash down. They can bring it in, why can't they take it out? It's just lazy and inconsiderate to others who want to come back here and enjoy this. Yeah, this isn't, I, I don't remember this, so this is new. We haven't merged into the other one yet, if we do at all. So that's cool.
This sort of looks like a riverbed here. Okay. This is the trail we came in on. We came from that way and we went that Okay, this is where we started at. We came from there and we went that way. And I remember mentioning in this way here maybe heading us down to the river. So we're at, we are now back on the original trail. I also remember that. And we are about ready to come out into the parking area again. There's the fence. And we are back where we started that. That was a pretty good trip. I'm trying to get some permission to go on some other private lands to do some hiking. And hopefully we'll get done here soon. But uh, thanks for watching. Bye.